Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel with Big Fox News. A jury finds Thomas Clayton had his wife Kelly killed. The Steuben County jury found him guilty this morning after they spent weeks hearing testimony in the murder for hire case. Big Fox reporter Andrea Lopez has been covering this trial all along. She brings us reaction. More than a year after the brutal murder of 35 year old Kelly Stage Clayton, the jury reached a final verdict at 10 a.m., bringing the high profile Thomas Clayton murder trial to a close. On trial for hiring to have his wife murdered, defendant Thomas Clayton was found guilty on both first and second degree murder charges. Tensions were extremely high today for both families just moments before the verdict was announced. This is an emotional experience for close friends and relatives of Kelly and defendant Tom Clayton. Crowds of Kelly Stage's family and friends are seen sharing embraces right outside of the Steuben County Courthouse. Kelly's sister, Kim Bourgeois, followed by Kelly's mother, speak out after hearing the verdict in their favor. I told my sister from the night she was murdered that we would not stop fighting for her. We would not stop fighting for justice for her. She was beautiful, bright, and she is still bright. The sun is out right now, and she is here and she will always be with Charlie and Colin. We have a strong family and it has shown through in the community, like she said, it's been so behind Unbelievable. us. Everything, thank you. Much effort was put forth from the prosecutor Wetmore and his team of lawyers, investigators, and other assistants. Here are Wetmore's final words following the verdict. I guess the words that will express is tremendous relief after all that work. Uh, thank goodness we got the right result. Thank goodness, as you've seen all those signs that we did indeed get justice for Kelly Clayton. Steuben County Sheriff J.J. Allard shared his thoughts on the trial as well. There was a heinous murder a little over a year ago where two young children lost their mom and the three folks that conspired to make that happen are now in jail. Thomas Clayton was taken into custody and his immediate family did not offer any final words following the verdict. Appeals will be made as stated in defense attorney Ray Schlaughter's post-trial comments. Mr. Clayton is, is adamant he is not guilty of these offenses. He did not kill his wife. He didn't hire anybody to kill his wife. He's taken a polygraph. He's passed the polygraph. Uh, so we will go to the next venue and we will continue fighting. This is one of the largest and most drawn out cases Steuben County has seen in a while. All three suspects involved in the murder, Michael Beard, Mark Blanford, and now Thomas Clayton face time behind bars. Clayton sentencing is scheduled for early May 2017. Just shy of seven weeks of trial, over 400 pieces of evidence, and only six hours of deliberation, the Thomas Clayton murder trial closes today, February 23rd, 2017. Reporting on the last day of the Thomas Clayton murder trial from the Steuben County Court in Bath, I'm Andrea Lopez with Big Fox News. And of course, count on us to follow every step of the way with the Clayton sentencing. Wegmans wants to make sure no one in our area is going hungry. Today it delivered a truckload of donated food to the food bank of the Southern Tier. Wegmans employees from Corning and Elmira stores will unload the more than 17,000 pounds of fresh produce, dry goods, drinks and canned foods that will be distributed to people in need throughout the Southern Tier. Some of it may go into backpacks for our, for our kids backpack program to help feel, feel, uh, feed kids over the weekend. Um, some will go on mobile food pantry trucks that will be taken out into the community, into rural areas or senior centers and distributed to people who need it there. Um, but all of this food will be pretty quickly distributed out into the community to those who need it. We've done this several times in the past. Um, Wegmans has a great relationship with the food bank and we know that hunger doesn't stop. Um, so we definitely want to keep and do our part to contribute. Wegmans has donated a truckload of food to the food bank for a number of years as part of its annual support of the organization. In the last five years alone, Wegmans has given more than 673,000 pounds of food through retail donations and the Fill the Bus campaign. Tioga Downs opens its near newly expanded gaming floor. The expanded space is part of the Casino Tioga Downs, which opened December. And it features 32 long-awaited table games, including blackjack, craps, and roulette, as well as other popular casino games. The last edition brings Tioga Downs to a total of 944 machines. 
while enjoy those spring temperatures while they last. Coming up, Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers will let us know when winter comes back in his Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back everyone. Record breaking temperatures across our area today. Temperatures into the mid to upper 60s here. Late this afternoon as warm as 68 degrees in Elmira, 65 degrees a high in Corning, 64 degrees in Mansfield, 66 in Watkins Glen and 66 degrees also the high in Ithaca. A little fog developing overnight tonight. May see a few showers out there too very late tonight. That could last into early tomorrow too. Seeing at least some chance of a few scattered showers in our forecast. Temperatures into the 60s. We'll go for highs once again in the mid to upper 60s by the afternoon. So patchy fog around to start the day. Otherwise scattered showers in the forecast. Still pretty warm, windy and warm as we get into the weekend and more chances of scattered showers for your Saturday and cooler air moves in on Sunday. That's when we could see a few light snow showers develop around the area. So winter back in the forecast by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. So record challenging warmth once again as a warm front goes above our area that brings out warm weather right into our region. But that cold front to our west will bring some rain back to our area. Much colder temperatures too by Sunday. 46 degrees the low for tonight, 71 the high once again as we head into our uh, Friday. A little bit of fog around early in the day. Here comes the next seven days and we'll see temperatures again low 60s by the time we get to Saturday with more rain chances around and then cooler weather arrives on Sunday. Could see a few snow showers too with high temperatures in the 40s by Sunday afternoon, but then warmer next week back into the mid to upper 50s by the middle part of next week. So winter's not going to last too long. May see a few of those light snow showers on Sunday, but right next next week, we're right back into the 50s with some rain returning on Tuesday. The temperatures are going back to closer to normal. <laughs> That's right. We're going to get a little closer to normal as we end February and get ready for March. And then March, who knows? Maybe it'll be back to spring again. We can sure hope, right? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stay tuned for Mike and Molly.